Hi, and welcome to this video. Many moons ago, old PCs never used to be able to boot to USB devices, and this can be quite frustrating for a technician, obviously, because when you want to boot to a USB device or a CD-ROM, sometimes that option wasn't there in the BIOS because the uh, BIOS never had that option on it. You could, you have to wait nowadays for, if you've still got an old motherboard, you still have to wait until the motherboard manufacturer would make a, a BIOS update where it definitely give you the option to actually boot to a USB device. And if they did, it depends on whether they wanted to get around to doing it or not. Now most people would put a new motherboard in at this stage or whatever, but not everyone's got the money or people don't like changing and that's, that's the difficult uh, situation we're faced with. There is an answer to this uh, problem which is basically downloading this program. It's called www.plop.at. That's the website. And you can, it's called Plop Boot Manager. Okay, so it's a freeware program. You can come to this site and download it. And uh, this is the guy that's made the program. I think he's a very clever man. I'll tell you what, because it's a really useful bit of kit. And it will allow you to boot to a floppy disk, um, CD-ROM drive, and a, an actual USB device. It saves you a lot of hassle. So if you're into your old stuff and you don't like changing often, then this is the program for you. Okay, so let's uh, install the program and show you how easy it is to install. Basically, what you need to do is go to the place where you've downloaded your file. Now, this is my one. I'm on a virtual machine here. So, so basically, the files you need to copy across is this file okay, and this file. If you don't know what extensions are, you can actually show you extensions by going Tools, Folder Options, then View, then where it says Show Hidden Files down in there, there's a little tick below that saying Hide Extensions, take that tick out, apply and OK, and you should see the extension. This is the one you want, the bin file and the executable file. We're going to copy those to our C root directory, stick them in there like so. Now once we're in there, we need to go to our command prompt. CMD in the run bar, open up the command prompt. We need to get back to our C root directory by typing that command. I'm going to clear the screen here so we can see what we're doing. So now we're in this place here. What we need to do is type this command in, which is plpgen bt LDR. Once you've got that command in, you push enter and it will say, OK, this file was created. And what it's done, basically, I'll show you what it's done. It's actually put another file inside here. OK, that's all it's done. Pretty simple stuff. Now it's even telling you if you're running Windows XP, you need to type this command uh, in your boot any file. Okay, there's a few ways you can get to the boot in file. You can open it up from this location here, so push any key. So push start boot.ini, like so. This will open up the boot in file. Just going to lift that up there a little tad so we see what we're doing. And this is the, remember, this is the command that we need to type in. Well, not command, but a sort of uh, need to type this in underneath here. Uh, so this is what we need to do. Just copy that down. There's nothing uh, too difficult. Uh, LDR dot bin equals. Now this line here is the what's going to actually be shown on the boot menu itself. Okay, so we, it's going to be showing boot uh, plot boot manager. Okay. like so. It's as simple as that. So now we've got our com uh, command, I keep saying command, but it's just sort of like a, I've got, my mind's gone bloody blank today, I tell you. Okay, so we've got this typed in there and uh, we're good to go. So we need to save this now, like so. Close that off. Now, basically when we boot up the PC now, it should show in the boot order or boot menu the option to actually go into Plot Manager and it will actually fire up that little application which is fantastic if you haven't got the uh, option in the in the BIOS. It's a very uh, clever little trick. 
So we're just going to restart the machine. It shouldn't take too long because it's a uh, virtual box. There we go. We've got the options there now, as you can see. We're going to go into Plot Manager, and there you go. So we should now, if you had a use USB and so on, you just choose what you want. CD-ROM drive, floppy drive, hard drive, or USB device. And that is it, really. You just push that, and away you go. Okay? So I hope this has been some use to you. My name is Brian from brighttech.co.uk. Um, thanks very much for watching. If you like my videos, please remember to rate and subscribe to all my videos and subscribe to my channel and uh, thanks very much for watching. Bye for now.